I'm Christoph Schäfer. I come, I represent, as it says in the, um, on the website, Park Fiction, but we are against representation. My talk is called Space is the Place. It's stolen from Sun Ra, and it's referencing Henri Lefebvre, and um, who we, whose theory on space is uh, the background also of, or one of the backgrounds, theoretically, of uh, Park Fiction. And, um, yeah, it will be... Uh, and Lefebvre is um, getting more important because after a dominance of uh, discourse, the growing reception of Lefebvre um, brings space back uh, into thinking, and I think that's quite important. Um, we started in 1994, and what you see or don't see here is uh, the view over the Elbe in St. Pauli, a part of Hamburg where the red light district is located. And um, yeah, the city had plans to block this harbor view. There was new zoning decided freshly. And uh, the city's plans, the city government's plan was to um, build a corporate block uh, that would block the uh, red light district, uh, which at the time was the poorest district in West Germany from the harbor and the view on the river. Um, instead of just protesting, uh, we started an unauthorized planning process, and um, this is one of these young planners, and we had no means at the beginning, uh, only a bit of paper and a group of people who was determined to stop the city's plans. But uh, we didn't just want to be in the position of saying no, but we said we will organize a planning process, a parallel planning process, and we will organize the planning process and the political struggle as a platform of exchange, which uh, had one effect, for instance, that uh, things were actually already um, um, uh, fun at the moment of uh, organizing and doing them. This is the situation now. Um, here is a church, it's part of the park, and it goes, yeah, like this. And um, there's another picture with people. <laughs> uh, you see, we won, the houses were not built, uh, the Golden Poodle Club was saved, and the church is also still has a view on the Elbe. Uh, why we won was because we combined political activist people more from the, let's say, anarchist or squatting backgrounds with social movements and social workers and art, uh, the church, the subcultures, and so on. Um, the idea behind Park Fiction was to make each other more clever in uh, the process. These contradictions between these cultural fields are sometimes actually um, yeah, contradictions in the sense of people are fighting each other instead of working together. An example would be, uh, oh yeah, uh, we, uh, for, for us it was also important to not use the, only the classical political language, but to place everyday activities um, in space and in this political context, like this uh, garden made uh, a salad bush in the shape of a garden, or this is the beginning of a grilling and playing park where there was a parking lot at the time, or the priests did their thing. And we started a production of desires, a parallel planning process to get in the community with these American style protest signs, for instance, that you could ram into the slope. <laughs> Hello. Ah, there's a translation. Uh, yeah, parallel planning process. We had developed tools like this uh, action kit, uh, transportable planning studio. And uh, we collected all the wishes and in two community conferences decided upon what we wanted and finally uh, could convince the city to follow our plans. Uh, you are probably interested uh, what happens when you have a place like that or a space like that. And um, the central question for me is uh, also, how do you get hold in, under your feet for resistance on the slippery ground of post fordistic economic uh, worlds like ours? And uh, I think space plays a key role. Here's one of the answers. 
it cannot be a park alone, but uh, to specialize your desires and to connect um, social, political, and cultural fields and struggles um, can be a way to surround the um, image city, the neoliberal global competition city. Uh, in 2009, uh, the park played a certain role and was one of the elements in forming the Right to the City movement in Hamburg. Um, the right to the city, in my view, is also the right to centrality and the right to reimagine and redefine spaces, which uh, is what Park Fiction did. And the situation you see here is the showing first the second screening of a movie uh, that uh, deals with gentrification in St. Pauli. We accept, expected 100 visitors and 1,000 came and um, uh, a spontaneous uh, demonstration started at 12 o'clock at night. Uh, so the place became more and more, again, used for political stuff. Um, the Right to the City movement managed to combine several uh, localized struggles, and this combination and networking of localized struggles gave us a lot of power, uh, not only for the individual projects, but to actually uh, start to um, influence the urban politics of Hamburg. Certain laws had to be changed. Um, at the moment, uh, there are 70 refugees um, sleeping at night in the church uh, in our park. And uh, they came from uh, Libya, West African contract workers who had to escape the post-Arab Spring, post-NATO bombing situation in Libya. A complicated issue, the city of Hamburg would like to expel them and it's very hard, and the church and leftist groups and uh, citizens and neighbors uh, came together. Uh, the first thing that we did this May was um, invite everybody for a barbecue. That's what you do when you have new neighbors, I think. And um, uh, the situation is currently ex escalating because the Senate started uh, uh, racial profiling police uh, program in the area around the church, and um, it was uh, started uh, after the Lampedusa accidents uh, three weeks ago under the name Operation Lampedusa. Uh, you must imagine what a cynical politics Hamburg uh, Senate is uh, currently doing. The resistance uh, is uh, strong, and uh, nearly every day there's a demonstration since, since two weeks. I'm nearly through. Um, how do you connect spatialized struggles is the last question. This is a picture we got from Gezi Park uh, on June 15. Uh, Fulia mentioned it. The police is burning the tree of desires or the tree of wishes in Gezi Park in Istanbul. 16 hours later, we shot this photo uh, of the renaming ceremony of uh, Park Fiction, which is now Gezi Park Fiction. And uh, we like to have more intercity gazification. <laughs> I think the last picture, ah, no. So we need space to reconfigure the social. <laughs> there are more important things to say about stadiums being turned into political places. This is a spontaneous demonstration of football fans of Besiktas and St. Pauli, but my last picture is coming now. Okay, thank you. <laughs>